Okay, we're going to continue right along. Welcome back. Going to continue rounding this project out. Going to round some of the bottom. As you do this, don't work in one spot. long. You want to keep a balance and that's why I keep moving around. I find that moving around helps me stay in balance. If I'm working on a project, let's just say I'm, I'm carving a dog, I wouldn't just do the legs first and then move to the tail and then move to the head. I'd, I'd kind of just work the whole thing to keep it balanced and proportioned. And that's what we're doing here. I keep looking at it. I look at it from all directions to see how I'm progressing and looking. If I'm happy, then I continue on. If I notice something that's a little off, if I see that I have too much wood taken off one side, then I'll go to the other side and make the adjustment. So you gotta do something about this chair, it's a little squeaky. Okay. It's looking good, I like it. I like how it's turning out. This is a real simple project, folks you're going to really find that it's, that it's a nice one to do. Uh, this is a project that I teach uh, with homeschool groups um, or people that are learning, want to learn how to carve. It's just a great project because you can be successful on your first one and it's going to look like a hedgehog. Right here I'm basically just taking off the knife marks. I don't like how my nose is looking. It's going to be a really small vertical nose. Oh, that's okay. Every carving is a learning experience. When I cut these blanks out, I didn't leave a lot of room up there for the nose like I should have. Be mindful of the direction you're cutting in the grain. Because it can tear out if you're not careful. Just about done there on that side. Oops, that knife started to grab there, so I didn't want to keep going otherwise it was going to tear out. like it. Oh, there I just tore, went the wrong direction. This particular piece of wood is basswood. It's what I pretty much do everything in. I have done some things in, in pine and butternut and uh, jelly tong. But basswood is really the wood for carving. It's just a really good wood for that. 
Okay, there we go. It's just about finished. Uh, in our next video, we'll finish the rounding process and then we will establish more of the headline. All right, we'll see you in a few minutes.